Jesus, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Becky. I bring you awesome, fun, and timely content on all my platforms. So make sure you like, you comment, you share, and please subscribe. How are you guys doing? Good morning, good evening, because I know this video is going up in the evening. I hope you guys have had a great day. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Becky. I bring you awesome, fun, and timely content on all my platforms. So all of them are listed here. Follow, follow, follow. The links are in my description. Follow, subscribe, share, do the do, and become part of this amazing family. If you are a day one, you know, you know what time it is. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a great support. I love you guys. And yeah, as you have seen from the title of today's video, we are doing a monthly budget and um shopping haul so that is what we are doing this month and this month i want to be more open and share more about my process how i go about it how i budget how i figure out where i'm going to buy things how i know what is there and what is not there and then amount of money that i am going to spend in this whole process is going to be at the end of this video detailed step by step until we arrive at that amount so i have a budget that i set which is ten thousand we are just two of us ten thousand for me is enough more than enough and some things spill over all right so we are starting with ten thousand we will deduct it and see if we remain with anything i have a very bad habit where i don't remain with money if you give me a thousand bob to go to the supermarket i will come back with a receipt for a thousand bob you get it so i am trying to work on that i'm also trying to change my mentality about money about luck about god's provision by the way i have really been hammering the scriptures especially the ones that talk about god providing god providing all our needs so i think i am i am doing a great job okay so the first thing i am going to do is check what i have all right check what i have and especially what can last me a month if it can't last me a month, I need to add. So it is either I add the whole pack or half of of the pack, so that it can be able to last me a month. But mostly I had the whole I add the whole thing. Why am I not able to talk? I add the whole thing. So I will show you guys. We will check together what we have. We will take it out. Whatever is there that can last a month, and then we are going to go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like comment share and subscribe i would really 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 appreciate it yeah let's go so guys we are in my kitchen and i want to take inventory of what i have all right that is where to start check what you have all right so that you avoid double buying or buying too much that it goes bad buying too much is not bad but if you buy a lot of what you already have you need to use what you bought first so by the time you get to what you have bought now it might even have expired so to avoid such situations i like to know what i have and i have this this gunia here it holds all my extras anything i have extra is in here except foodstuffs the foodstuffs i put in the pantry even if it's extra so i have my my book i pluck papers from this notebook and it's where I write my my budget things. So most of, the, most of the papers are not here because I plug them. All right. So this works best for me. I go to I like going to the market with what is it called with um a physical <laughs> budget because I I just don't like being on my phone and all those things. So. Let me set this aside. I have my notebook here. We are going to check what we have, what I already have that I don't need to buy. So let me ensure you guys can see so that we can do this together. So this is my gunia and uh, I have a half a pack. No, it's actually a quarter of, vel of uh, velvex so that we are buying. Those are serviettes. I do it as I write so that I don't forget anything because 
so we are getting that here i have my this is over what is it doing here yeah, i have match boxes and utensil washing things so i think i need to buy the clean cut i need to buy this it's over I have oh I bought bleach last month. I'm not buying bleach. Bleach is so expensive. I'm not buying bleach. I got I get this uh downy value pack. So I have so many of them. I am not getting that. Oh wow. I have this menengai. So I think I'll add the small one. Because I use it a lot. I use it for laundry, utensils, I need it has so many uses. I have toilet cleaner. I don't need to buy by the way, guys. Another way I save money, I don't buy brands. I just buy the product. Honestly, it's going to work. Relax. So I have this. I am not buying happy. Whoop, whoop. I am not buying kitchen cleaner. I have a pack and I think I also have extra under here where my cleaning supplies are. So I am not buying this. So I am buying Jig Colors. This is over. And then under here I put the hazardous things like Vim. I think I'll buy this. I'll buy Astonish. It's over. Carpet Care. This thing is nice, especially for my carpet and my table. I really, really love it. So this is over, but we have G, so I'm not buying. I have Vim. This is Vim, the sunlight one, so I don't need to buy that a lot. And then I have only one air freshener, so I need to get several. Let's do three. And I also need to get vinegar. As you can see, mine is running out. This process takes a, a bit of time, but it saves me so much money. If, if, I, if I'm just being honest, it saves me a lot of money. We have three parts of bathing soap. As I was saying before my camera cut me off, we have bathing soap. This is the one we use. I have three parts. I'm not getting more. And I think the last thing here is... Oh, I have gloves. I wanted to buy this, but I have. For washing the toilet and the bathroom. So we have this. I'm not buying. So that is my first step, guys. I check what I have. So that I am not over buying things that I already have. Alright? So that is in order. So this is my list of things that I have to buy from my stash, what I need to add. And I think from this, once I go to the market and check the prices, I determine what I want to get extra, even if I have. All right. I hope you guys have understood that. So step one done. Step two is I go out with my lists so i have receipts from last month that is what i used to budget so here i have a receipt of the wholesale store i went to and i have everything that i got from there all right so anything that is not already there and is here i transfer to my shopping list this is the shopping list i am going with to the shops all right so and I also have the supermarket one, what I got from the shops as in the supermarket. So these two really come in handy because I check the prices. I'm able to know that I have enough money. I'm able to know what I bought that I don't want to buy again. And I can substitute that amount of money I used to get something else. All right. Now, like this month, I want to change up our protein. You get so things that i got that i don't want to get again that money can go towards that all right so now that i have checked cleaning things and all those things which are mostly here 
I now go through my pantry. I go check what I have, what I don't have, and what I need to buy. So I will just do that quite fast. And that does not take me a lot of time because my pantry is just here. You guys know my pantry. I'm just going to look through it, write everything that I need here. All right. So I will add on top of all these three, I will add what is not in my pantry that I need for the month. So let's do that. So this is the list of the things that I need from my pantry. And now the only thing that is left is for me to check my, my spices. And then we are going to finish off this list. My spices and then we will finish. So friends, I have populated my shopping list with what I need. Cleaning, supplies, food meats i'm yet to be done but so far this is what i have so this is my list it has everything i will need to get when i go to the market cleaning supplies food spices everything is here so my next step is to sit down and now divide it all right so i will sit and divide what i'll get from the wholesale store and what i am getting from the supermarket and then i will also write a list of my veggies and where i am getting them all right so i will do that first because it's it's quite a task it takes a few hours so i'll write that and then i will come on here to share my final shopping list with you guys all right so let me do that hi guys so i am done it has taken me an hour plus but i am done the first thing i have done is write out our weekly meal planner for this coming month so i don't write this weekly this is it's, it's a whole month so i just write everything so whatever is indicated is what we are going to eat on rotation this whole month do you get so this allows me to know what i need to buy and the quantities especially quantity wise
So, and our treat for the month, let me tell you. So I realized that we were just eating the same meals over and over again, and it was not giving, there's just uh, an excitement I get when I'm preparing meals that it was not giving. So I decided to come up with a treat for the month. And our treat this month is fish. I'm so excited because uh, where we stay, I have not found a nice fish place. That is the only reason why I have not yet cooked it. But because I am going to the Soko and I have the number of a lady who sells really nice fish from my sister in love, she buys there. So <laughs> this month we have to have fish. I am so excited and I have put it on Tuesday, which is so far away, but we are going to have it. So that is my monthly uh, meal plan. So now that is what has informed my decision of the meats that I need to buy. Breakfast has also informed those decisions. So this is what I have. These are my two lists. This is for veggies, as you can see, there is, no, this is the one for veggies, onion, tomato, all those things, you can see my total here, but this will definitely change once I get to the market, because I know things, things can be a bit, a bit cheap, especially when you're bargaining, so you could find, I have said I need, um, fish worth 500, and she's selling one for 150, you see, I will have to edit my amounts, just quantity wise, but this is the one that is for the this side is definitely supermarket things but i'm going to a wholesale store so these ones are the ones that i definitely have to get in the supermarket because it's like ham and cheese but these ones i am getting them from a wholesale store and it is very cheap super duper cheap so i am taking you guys along with me and yeah i buy from a wholesale store so i'll see you guys when i get back because me going to the market and all that is in the vlog so you guys will have to check out that vlog after this video then my tools of trade when i am going to the market guys carry your own shopping bags it is environmental friendly and it also gives you peace of mind because you don't have to also budget for carrier bags and all those things when I am coming back, I usually take an Uber, but it depends with the bulk of the things I have bought. But today I have a feeling I don't want to take an Uber because that takes a chunk of money from my budget. I've already budgeted for that 200 bob. I've already put it in my budget because there's something I really want and I want to get it. So I carry shopping bags here small ones and very big ones these are the tiny ones and then i also carry this huge one this one i use mostly for the wholesale shop because the wholesale store things tend to be quite heavy and quite a lot so that is what i use and then i have a chondo i don't know how many of you guys have a chondo but i have this one and also i have let me show you the other one but this one is not mine this one is is for my mom it's my mom's uh chondo that i need to return but how cute we were this one and i also have another one this is the one she was gifted at my rura shop my grandma gifted me a chondo and her a chondo so this is hers she lent it to me a day we went to the market together and i had carried paper bags and all of them were falling apart so that is the day i realized i need to carry my own shopping bags and my own Chondo, which I find super cute. It's it's super duper cute. And it makes me look grown and put together. So let me go. I'll see you guys when I'm back as I show you everything I have gotten. So yeah. Bye guys. Hi guys. So I'm back and this is what I got. I got this all purpose flour one. Flour has become so expensive. I got Menengai, just a bar. I know I had said I'll get the small one, but this is the small one. The other one is too tiny. Then I got some uh, cling film. I go through this a lot, a lot. I hope I have, yeah, I have some aluminum foil, so I didn't need to buy. I bought the big one last month. Then I have three packs of Bella Serviette. 
three then i have uh rosy these ones are the ones we love the extra strong rosy wrapped 10 of them and then i got kitchen towels from faye these are some of the things i honestly don't really care about the brand for as long as it's it's the cheapest in the market please give it to me tissue i care these two not so much and like cling film aluminium could be whatever man then i got this pep tank tomato sauce i get it at a throw away price then today they didn't have the usual can of tomato paste so i got this tam tam ones i got five of them and i also got my beef flavor rico cubes and three packs of drinking chocolate guys these three plus the two huge ones I have, those ones have me sorted until like three months. I got four kgs of rice and then I got two packs of these soft care sanitary pads. I love these ones or even the gold ones. For as long as it's soft care, I love the thickness. And although I have this, I got another just for backup. And then I got these five liters of golden drop vegetable oil. Trust me, this was a thousand one hundred five liters. I had to. I had to. So that is in the cleaning, uh, some the wholesale kind of stuff. This is what I got from the wholesale store. And now I'll put this away, and then I will put the veggie kind of stuff and show you guys. So yeah, let me do that. Okay, guys, we are on to the veggie stuff. So these are minjis. I get them when they are like this. I like to remove them myself. And they go bad quite fast, so I need to remove them today. I got four, what are they called? <laughs> Cobs of maize, just four soft ones. These two cabbages. Guys, if I tell you this cabbage has given me character development... You will not believe it. Guys, I went to the market. I have come back home. I have had to go back to the market to pick these cabbages because my cab guy did not pick them. He left them on the floor where they were. I'm tired. I am exhausted. I am so exhausted. Anyway, let's finish. <laughs> so these cabbages that have given me character development today. In here, I have this huge thing of potatoes guys potatoes have become so cheap and i love it for myself so those are potatoes and i have others there so two huge things and then in here i have a kilo of onions which is very little but i prefer that than buying one one and then, oh i hope my mangoes are still alive this is a uh, green grams and dengu and then i have a uh, lentils which are kamande a kg and a kg and then i have five mangoes i met this guy who was selling one at 20 so i got five from there i have mishiris these ones i also like doing it myself guys can you see how fresh they are love it love it lots these were only a hundred bob this whole thing then i have tomatoes worth a hundred shillings yes all these tomatoes are worth 100 bob. And then I have carrots worth 50 bob. I have a red cabbage that was 50 shillings. I am obsessed with this red cabbage salad. I'll show it to you guys when I make it. Then in here I have dania. I have garlic. I have ginger. And I also have two courgettes. And I have three beetroots for juice. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. And then... My other juice condiments are a full pineapple and this huge, super, super huge watermelon that I got for 250 Bagain. And then I have my traditional mbogas here. So, yeah, that is it for the veggies. I'll see you guys after I go to the mall and get the things from the supermarket and then we will round up this video with the total so see you guys in the next clip two thousand years later hey friends so i am 
back home and I am here to finish this video. So this is me from the shops. I promised you guys in the previous clip that I would see you guys once I go and shop for the second batch of my groceries, which I do mostly actually in the supermarket because I don't know any better place. So the day I went to the market, I, I spent 5,000, which is half, and then the other 5,000 I have spent today. So this is my total for today, 46, 64. 63 right here i hope you guys can see that yes that is visible so this is everything i have gotten from car four and i am going to show you guys you're going to do a haul i really love watching hauls and i love doing hauls on this channel so please if you like them please just tell me so that i can now so i have gotten bread i have not yet made my monthly cake and um Mandazi, so bread will do for a few days. I got some smokies and some beef sausages. Guys, last month I tried this brand called Ken Meat. I'm sorry, I can't recommend. Yo, they tasted horrendous. Especially if you're used to the taste of this, you won't stand it. I'm sorry. Horrible. I'm not doing that again. Then I have gotten myself a treat. I've gotten this ice cream. Actually, for me, ice cream is ice cream. And this was the cheapest one on the shelf. And trust me, I have gotten it. Ohi. I don't know if it is ohi or uhi, whichever. But let me put it in my freezer. Because I can see it is already giving. I am going to now. Guys, no, this is not even for this video. Ah, you will see that later. You will see that probably in the vlog. That's a long story. So, gotten that. Then I have replenished my soy sauce. I used Zesta. It's 200 bob and it is nice. It is good quality. This is the one I have. So, I just thought to buy it. You know, why not? So, I have replenished that. Then I have, of course, gotten our cheese. Ceremon, this is my favorite brand. It works for everything. Sandwiches, pasta, whatever you want it to do, trust this cheese to deliver. So, gotten that. This is usually 400 bob and it's also the cheapest on the shelf. So, trust that. I'll get it. Then I have gotten this white vinegar substitute. I don't know what this is, but I am going to use it. Then, mayo. I showed you guys in the store. A fave eggless. Then, of course, my diary have some Lala and I have some vanilla fresher yogurt, a liter. So these ones, I will I'll wash them. I'm just leaving them here. What did he pack in here? All right, all right, all right, all right. I carried so many papers today. Two of these uh, sufficient scrub things. And I have, guys, I have been forgetting to buy this thing for months. Today, I definitely had two earbuds and two of these. I love this lavender and the citrus one. Really, 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 really love. So, this two. See, clumsy much. So, that. And then, in this big paper, we have a lot going on. So, let me show you this first. So, we have spices. And if you guys don't know, I love Simbabili because it is so cheap. So I had to get three. I had to get this Jira, Dania Jira. And I had to get Garam. Mine was depleted. And I also got Paprika, which was also depleted. All right. Those are the three. The others I got from the uh, uh, different brands just to try. So I got this Nature's Own Pilau Masala. This one, and then I got some herbs. I got some mixed herbs and some thyme. These two from Malson Spices. This one looks like someone already used it, and all of them were like this, guys. I'm not the problem. You see, this one is full. This one, can you see the space? 
it looks like someone already used it to cook anyway all the packs are looking like that so i finally got myself some coffee i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited i want to try and make my own coffee at home i i have just started loving this whole coffee thing so i got this gibson's coffee it's arabica it smells so good mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so we'll review that and then if you know you know i got some baking powder and of course barbecue sauce this big jar that lasts us the whole month then i got me some pasta they did have the Kapo brand I like so I got this is what was there literally this is what was left in the shelf so got two and then I got hostess this is Ugali flour premium fortified sifted maize meal this is the one we have and then I got an extra pack of baking flour all right so and i got some clean film mine mine is running out so i got some hanan clean film so that is the haul that is the monthly haul for this month feb thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed the tips i shared in the beginning about budgeting writing it down i know i have not showed you guys meats i've not yet bought meats so it's going to come to like twelve thousand say twelve thousand marks so 12k that is what i have used because i'm yet to buy my chicken and my beef and fish so 12k all right thank you so much guys for watching i hope you loved this video please like comment share your budgeting tips below share where you buy your things ways of saving money those are the only things i want to be seeing please those are the only things i'm interested in right now all right thank you for watching i'll see you guys on my next video remember to like comment share and subscribe bye